Hello everyone, it's um, Lisa from the Miss Liz shop and um, I just want to show you this small journal I just completed and um, it's an altar journal of Marie Antoinette and what I did was that I just saw the cover of the book and um, it's a it's a journal, but I just uh, alter it. So I, what I did was I used a picture for digital of Marie Antoinette from Eva Agnes on Etsy. Behind it um, is a muslin fabric, which I distressed. And then there's another uh, background um, from my paperback paper pads uh, car stack and the picture of Marie Antoinette you can see I sold around it in pink um, thread and here's a pink flower and it's tied with this ribbon and um, it's a lace ribbon and I have here one of the breaths of him uh, Tim Holtz and also on the back I just sold it and I distressed it and I stamped a crown and I also made the same um, put the same breath there with the number from Tim, uh, Tim Holtz and then I, I first added the ribbon and then I did the brand over it and I'm going to open the journal. It has uh, uh, 56 pages front and back. I didn't count the, the covers. And there's lots of ribbon you can see and that I, uh, I have uh, made cards with it and other things. And the first page has a heart, and here you can see it's this dress with the ribbon and a pearl and some lace. And the next page, this card is a um, Paris card with the Eiffel Tower, and I made it into a pocket. So I have a small card here of Marie Antoinette journaling card. And the next page, here we go, it's um, a card that you can probably journal on it or add a picture if you like. And, um, oh, it took the same card out, I'm sorry. This one is not a pocket, so you could just write or add a picture to it. Here's the small pocket, which I cut out and distressed from one of my background uh, paper pads. And here's a little pocket with a card, which I bought these in a uh, pack of these in Target. And a uh, flower. And another card with lines. You can um, journal on these. And then up here I just uh, glued uh, this a digital I got I forgot from where I have to look into it so I can write it down and I put some added some bling to it and then I have uh, added this um, lace right there and up here also on the top there's lace and here is an insert which I cut this out from a card and I made this envelope out of French letters that I bought from the French Chateau but I did sew around it you can see with the pink um, thread and I glittered it here and I added this butterfly so I embellished it and I have a little tiny card here that's from photo paper the glossy photo paper and I cut the card and I made a little tiny one out of it. So 
So the next page. It's the same page, sorry. And here is a um a card you can use as a bookmark. And it's French writing on it. And I did make mine stamping on the back and a butterfly. It's just the edges at at least in a flower. A rose. And here is an insert and a flower. A little card. And I uh, stamped it with the crown. <clears throat> And this lace with this uh, little shabby cheek, you can see in there what it is. And on this page, I cut out a little card. As you can see, shabby cheek looking. And this I did with my, um, these I bought from Hobby Lobby, I remember a pack. Sorry, I thought it was from my embossing machine. They look like them. And here's an envelope, which I bought at Michael's. A pack of these at Michael's. And with a card inside. And it says, remember. And you can use it as a journaling card. And the envelope. It's from, um, it's like wax. Wax envelope. And then here's the card from one of my digitals. You can write on the back of it. And the clip is adorned with the. Uh, some cotton lace and then here is a stamped of Marie Antoinette and some lace on the top and the next page I have um, distressed a lot of the pages but they are lined I don't know if you can see the line but it's very light nine pages and here I cut this with my hands and distressed it this pocket I made and I stamped it also with the crown and here are these two dictionary word cards from um, a charter dream and then in the back you also have the meaning and here's the card I distressed a legend card for journaling. Another ticket. This is a ticket you can use for journaling. Also distressed it. And a card of the castle. Postcard. For journaling. And your at lace. It's another uh, journaling page. And this one here, it's a side pocket, and I also have uh, behind it, I glued this here, which I embossed on my machine. And on this page, there is a list, I uh, added lace to it, and then I have, um, right here I made a pocket. So right here I have a card which is folded and stamped at the edges with the Marie Antoinette stamp as you can see to give you space to journal on <coughs> and then here is a gloss and bag and uh, I added two tags to it this one with the butterflies in French writing and I distressed the edges and a little bit in the middle of it and here's a plain one and this one says love I stamped that one and then up here I added a round card it says Paris and you can journal on the back of it and then I stamped Marie there 
on the bottom. And um, this, I cut out this here with uh, my embossing machine. And then I added lace right here to the edge of the page, which is coffee stained. And here's a tag of Marie Antoinette from Eva Agnes. You can use as a journaling card. And it's a good book to carry. You can carry it in your purse. <clears throat> and I stamped that there. The journaling, journaling pages. And here goes another I thought tower card. <clears throat> and it's open as a pocket here, so you can insert a card or something, a journaling card. And there's my empty space for journaling. And this page two. And this insert on the top has a heart, a scalloped heart. I cut on my <clears throat> excuse me, uh cricket machine. <clears throat> and another heart here. Then here is a dress, which I sell on my Etsy shop. <coughs> and here's a flower on this insert I made here that I cut out and I distressed. Music background from one of my paper pads. Cross back pads. And then this is a little tag I just made, and um, I stamped Marie Antoinette, and I embellished it with some lace and seam binding ribbon on the top, right there. Then the back is blank and distressed, so you can write on it. And these pages are all... Uh, it will empty for you to write on. As you can see, there are a lot. And then the last page has a journaling card with a pocket from A Tarted Dream. I bought them from A Tarted Dream on Etsy. And, uh, but I did uh, embellish it with this card here. The flowers, and this is Paris. And then I distressed the library card. Really nice. And here's the back of the book, which I stamped the crown. And that's the end. So this will be on my Etsy shop. If I can do it tonight, I will, or maybe tomorrow. So if you're interested, you can go into Miss This on Etsy. Uh, vintage. Uh, it's vintage with a uh, vintage, shabby vintage flair. Miss Liz on Etsy. Okay, and thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.